Okay, Mystery Baker here. Hope you're all doing well. Well, we're in the property and I've got a few moments alone. So this is my son's property. He's just got the keys. There's a few boxes here, so excuse the mayhem, but it's empty. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour. <coughs> so go straight from the hallway into the kitchen. And there's some new kitchen cupboards. Oh, don't they look nice when they're all new? Ignore the mess. So we'll go over here and this is the integrated fridge, Dr. P, <laughs> priorities, priorities, Dr. Pepper and then the integrated freezer, looking good and my best bit is always looking at a new cooker and hob, how's about that, brand spanking new, oh yeah, that's got bits in there, okay and then I think the boiler is over here it's a combi all nice and brand new isn't it wonderful when everything's new and i think in here oh is the dishwasher oh brand new how wonderful how cool and right at the end hiding is the integrated washing machine perfect just what he needs <laughs> so that's the kitchen <coughs> Rather large space, really, for a two bed. Nice and roomy. Nice and roomy. I'll just give you a look from here. Nice and roomy. And then there's a big storage cupboard in here, as you can see. Put the light on, it helps. Lots of storage space, which is unusual. Am I doing a good job doing this house tour? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> The toilet, downstairs toilet, how sweet, looking nice, the little sink, and then to the living room, here we go, French doors, and then it's just living room as it goes, and a nice big garden actually, it goes all the way around the side and round the back type thing, around the side of the house. Uh, the turf men are coming to give me a quart soon, <clears throat> so that's good. <clears throat> now I'm going to go up the stairs. It's my exercise for the day. So all these carpets are brand spanking new. Oh, they look lovely. Oh, untouched, unused. <laughs> We're going to the smaller of the two bedrooms. Uh, this is quite roomy. Nice. He'll get a... Nice double there, okay. And then there's lots of room at this side for whatever he wants. I think he's gonna have the back room as a guest room and a dressing room. So this is the larger of the two, but I think he prefers the other one because it's a little bit cooler in the summer. It's got an alcove there that you can get a fitted wardrobe in. And there's an extra storage behind the door. There we have it. So a couple of rails up there, extra storage for his clothes. Okay. And there's another cupboard here, which would be an airing cupboard. And then this is his bathroom. So toilet and shower. Brand spanking you again. And it's got, oh, that's a good little, oh, I like that idea. And there's his shower, which he loves. He loves his showers. Little window there. Um, and that's basically my quick tour downstairs. And I thought I'd just film why I've got a couple of minutes alone, which is always my favourite time. <laughs> um, oh, we've had a breeze, finally. <laughs> and it's dropped the Dr Pepper cans. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I've been doing. There's some of the items here ready. They're all boxed. I haven't got into them yet. I've opened that one just to get out some cleaning products. I'm going to pick up this mess that's blown onto the floor. And these are his new pans, as you can see. And they've got the red in them. He loves red, so black and red. And they're all the same including a frying pan. I think it's quite groovy. 
and they were on sale from Lagos. Russell Hope. So I've just washed them. Even though they're new, I always like to wash them. So I will be unboxing, unpacking later and I'll come back and show you what are in the boxes. But for now, I'm going to just clean out the cupboards, get myself a drink and uh, yeah, that's it so far. Okay, so I've been putting things out and about. There's a lot of boxes over there in the corner. <laughs> uh, I've got a little dog ball here and a little dog bed because because my dogs are here. And while I've got a bit of time, I thought I'd show you what we've unpacked. So I've got the microwave in and tea towels, kettle. A few welcome to your new home gifts. I like these stars that go on the ceiling. Can you see? I don't know if it's picking up um, off that ball there. Uh, I've got this little bonsai tree and there's a little photograph of Daisy and Lily for him. <laughs> a little gift from me. Oh, we've put a clock up and it's quite a roomy kitchen. And we've got him a little table, so I've used this kind of bar stool kind of vibe. It goes and hides the radiator, which I think really just gives an, a little bit of space to the kitchen. Sorry if... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, and along. So we'll go to the toilet. I've got um, put some hand sanitizer or hands wash there for now. <gasps> Toilet seat is up, I'm sorry. So I've got a shelf to put up and I've got a little hand towel there. But I have to get a little hand towel uh, rail. And I've got a little plant in there and he's got a little light fitting there. So that's coming along and a little basket with his toilet rolls in. <clears throat> okay, now the living room. <laughs> Woo! So he's got his, he's got his TV in, I mean, come on. <laughs> he's got his TV in and I've got a mirror to put up and the pillows are looking a little bit not very well put together but you know what boys are like and the mirror is going to go up against that mirror there is going to go up and central against the sofa and this corner here is a little side table that my daughter put together I got that from B and M, and the lamp is from Dunelm, and then there's the three-seater sofa. Oh, <laughs> there's my doggies, <laughs> and there's the toolbox. And we managed to put the curtains up. It's a bit of a grim, boring day. This is a sixty-inch TV. What a surprise! And a little puffy there, a little stool. It's made of like a suede kind of effect. So that's the living room. Oh, so our living room's coming together. So shall we go upstairs? Got my little mop. A few bags here with rubbish in. Um, there's a little shelf to go up in the hallway. Okay. Up the stairs. Now, let's see. I'll show you. I'll show you the bathroom for now. There's a shelf to go up here. Again, toilet seat up. <laughs> Pet head. But there's a little black shelf and that'll go up onto that wall there. And he's got his little bits, his toothpaste and soaps. There's a lovely, I like these baskets. And the shelf's got some of his aftershaves on. This is rather good. This is Pride de la Homme. It's a wonderful fresh fragrance. And his shower. All ready to go and then this is the spare room so <laughs> there's a spare pillow under there but I've put the bed together not I've done a very good job have I but um, haven't got the curtains up but we've put the bed together and then over here with all his trainers and his coats and he's gonna put unpack all his clothes 
and there's some storage here but I think there's boxes in there at the moment and then his bedroom has got the curtains up in here and got his bed on I haven't put his headboard on yet but his bed's put together his little side table there with a the lamp on little basket below with some of his personal items and then some drawers here with a pole and oh yeah and his headboards to go on so we've been quite busy very busy indeed and that's what I've been up to I've never stopped really um, my dogs don't know what's going on because they think what am I doing here <laughs> but uh, okay back down <laughs> back down to the kitchen so that's basically my son in his wonderful first new home on the little bonsai tree I love it I need to get some light fittings for the kitchen um, I'm glad I didn't because I didn't realize there's actually two light fittings and I would have only bought one so I need matching or I'm thinking a normal one for there and maybe a flush one to the ceiling on there because when you open these storage cupboards there's not much difference you see I don't want it hitting the light so I might have to go for a flush a flush to the ceiling one and as I say I love this sorry my bag's in the way I can't move out my bag um but yeah Perfect for a guy who lives on his own. Like a little bar. You could, If his friends are on, you could turn this into a bar and have your drinks on there. And I just thought it's a perfect kind of, I'm not saying bachelor pad, but definitely great for one person. And as I say, it's a wonderful size kitchen. Ignore the rest there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, apologies for me not doing a cake video like you may have thought I would be. Um, but yeah, this is what I've been spending my life, <laughs> the last, I would say, three three months working towards, is finding a house for him that I would feel comfortable him moving into. Um, and the trials and tribulations of buying a home, oh my goodness. Yes, it wasn't me who was buying the house, but my goodness, the stress is real. <laughs> It's so stressful. It's so stressful. Well, thanks for watching. Um, as I say, the Christmas cake train is approaching the station. <laughs> and in the next couple of weeks, we'll be back on that train. And we'll be making Christmas cakes. And I hope you join me. Sourcing the ingredients. Getting the cakes ready. Thinking of Christmas themes. And how we're going to decorate the cake. And maybe a few Christmas tutorials showing you how to make elements for your Christmas cakes too. So on that note, you see that thing over there? It's called a kettle. I'm going to get it on. I'm going to make myself a nice brew and wait for the gang to return back here. Thanks for watching. Bye.